the notes application is one of my favorite apps out there and i want to go and break down some of my favorite tricks and tips that you should definitely keep in mind about with the notes app i mean it's, it comes brain built it comes built installed with every single iphone out there one of my favorite apps out there for sure now the first thing that's actually super cool that i use honestly more times than i ever use probably the notes app itself actually that's a lie is the scanning feature so what this basically allows us to do is it allows us to go ahead and scan images almost as if we had a scanner. It is basically a scanner, which is so awesome. So to actually use this, you have to go outside of the application and you want to long press on the app. So when we get here, you can see not only can you go ahead and quickly toggle into a new note, a new checklist, a new photo, but at the very bottom, you have this scan document feature. So what we can do is we can go and click on scan document and it will automatically pull up, you know, the specific document scanner. Basically, it's just a camera. Now, in this case, I have this piece of paper right here that has nothing on it. But let's just say this was a document. Well, all I would have to do is just highlight the whole entire image over this. I know you can't really see it, but if I wanted to highlight like this portion, well, I would go ahead and have that image like over wherever it was. I would go and take a photo and then it's going to automatically detect the edges and everything. And all I had to do here then is basically just, you know, kind of configure it a little bit further. So if I wanted to go ahead and have this edge a little bit like this, a little bit like this up here, well, that's all you would have to do. And then you can go and either, you know, keep scanning or retake. But in this case, we'll just keep scan. And watch what will happen. It'll go down. If you have other pages, you can just keep flipping the pages and just keep doing the same thing and keep scanning. Once you're done, you can go ahead and open up the previous image if you want to here. And this is where the fun stuff starts happening. You can click on the second filter icon down here, which is usually what I click. And you can grayscale it if you want to. So you can do black and white, which is usually like a regular scan. Or you can do a photo if you want or whatever. But this is kind of nice because a lot of people want things scanned, like if you're signing something for a document and you can send it back to them and it's actually like a scanned file. And from here, you can click done and you can save this as a photo. You can you know save it into your files application so, and it saves it as a note as well, which is so cool. So that is one of my favorite things. I do it all the time and it's such a useful tool to have. You don't even have to download anything else, which is so nice. Now, another thing some people may actually forget about with your specific, you know, uh, notes application is the ability of changing the way it's viewed. So if you know with certain apps like the files application, not everything will look like this. It'll be more like a gallery type of view. But what you can do on your notes app is you can click on the three dots on the top right corner and you'll see this view as gallery option. So what we can do is we can click view as gallery. And I didn't even think I clicked it. And watch what happens. It now changes from that type of view we had before to this one. Now, why is this important? Well, essentially, if you have a lots of you know notes and you want to change the way it looks sometimes, well, you can go ahead and set it up like this. And if you make a lot of notes on your device like this, well, you'll basically be able to see them as a quick glance. If you have images and whatnot, you'll also be able to see them too. And it actually looks a lot cooler. I'm completely not used to seeing my notes app look like this. But again, if you're somebody who wants to go and utilize this this way, well, you can go and do it too, which is so awesome. Now within these notes, you know, I, there's so much capability you have here. But one of the things that I do all of the time that I hope you know about by now, but in case you don't, is editing the text. So you can edit the way your text looks like all the time. So if I click high, right, if I go and highlight this, if you click on the A and the smaller A right here, you get into this brand new, not brand new, but you get into this new option, which allows you to go and customize the font, the text, the way it's formatted, so many different things. And for a free application, you can actually do a lot of stuff with this, which is nice. So here you can go and make it as a title, you can make it as a heading, which basically just changes the way it's looking like. So if we kept it high or like the title like this, you can bold it or unbold it if you want to here, which is another really cool thing. Now, on top of that, you can also create this little checklist if you want to as well. So you can add it, you can go and change it like that. You can have a numbered list as well, which is really cool. And you can also make it, if you want the text to be on the right side a little bit more, or on the left side a little bit more, you can also change it like that too if you want to tap in. So just right there is another really cool thing that we have built in here, which is so cool. Now, I've talked about this a little bit before. Actually, I've talked about this a lot before, but starting with iOS 15, we actually have the ability of dragging and dropping things. So let's say I wanted to take like this file out of here. Hopefully this file works. What I can do is I can hold down this file. I can go ahead and drag it, right? So you can see I, all I did was I just held it down like this and then I got into this panel and I can drag and drop it. So now what I can do is I can go to another note. So if I wanna click on another note, I can just drop this specific thing right there too. So if this works for a lot of different things. If you have text, you can just highlight this text like this. You can just copy paste this text here, or you can drag and drop this text if you want to. It's not really working out that well, 
but you can drag and drop this text and the images and everything around your whole entire device, which is so awesome. So that is another really cool thing that we have the ability of doing as well. Now, on top of that, you also have the ability of locking your notes. So let's say you're somebody who you don't want people to see your notes or whatever the case is. Well, you do have the ability somewhat of actually locking these specific notes. So what you can do is you can find a note that you want to lock that you don't want people to be able to like easily access. You should be able to hold down on a note like this, and you should be able to see this pop up down here that says lock note. So here, what you can do is click on lock note and you'll get into this pop up. So it'll say lock notes with your iPhone passcode, or you can create a separate password. So if you're somebody who wants to lock a note with your you know, iPhone passcode, this is a really cool thing to do. The reason for that is basically before we had to go ahead and create a new separate password for each note, which was really annoying. But now you can just use your iPhone passcode and you can just type in your passcode, whatever it is, and you can go ahead and lock in the note. So now people won't just be able to randomly open it. They'll actually be able to go ahead and you know either ask you for the passcode or they'll need a passcode to do it. And that's another big thing I'd recommend looking into. But on top of that, you can also, this is a big one, swipe to the side of a note and you can actually pin these notes to the top. So if I wanted to pin this note, basically, as you know, like with every single month that passes, the notes get lower and lower and lower. So a cool thing you can do is basically just pin the note up here. And if you want the note to always be persistent up top, you can just keep it up there. I usually keep notes of like games that I'm about to play or like movies I'm about to watch or something like that. I will pin those notes up top. That way I always have notes up there that I can go and look at. And that's another big thing that I always do. You can always unpin them too by clicking there and putting them there too. And that's another cool thing I'd recommend looking into. Now, finally, another thing that is actually fairly new, I, did, I never even saw this before, but it's actually tagging your specific notes with hashtags. That way you can actually go to and you kind of search up and kind of categorize those hashtags. So if I wanted to go ahead and have this as a, you know, under like an iOS tag, what I can do is I can click on the hashtag button, which is right here. I can click hashtag and I can just type in like, iOS just like this and now watch what will happen. It'll go ahead and go like that. You will go ahead and get this specific pop-up. It'll say, you know, note hidden on some devices. You can go and click OK and watch what will happen. If we go in this note, okay, whatever. If you go and swipe back out, you will now be able to go ahead and be able to see your tags right here. So if you swipe back out into your all your iCloud uh, options right here, you'll be able to see all tags, but you'll also see iOS. So now if you click iOS, you will see the notes that we actually kind of categorized within those specific tags. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, mostly if you're in a weird situation where for some reason you want to go ahead and, you know, have all your notes, if you want to, you know, categorize your notes a little bit more thoroughly, well, you have that ability now of using that hashtag, leaving it within whichever notes you're talking about, and you can categorize them. So if you're taking notes of like, you know, how like your lifting is going or how whatever, whatever you're trying to do, you can just leave those notes there. So instead of searching for a specific thing, you can just have them all categorized there. And that's a really, really cool thing that you have the ability of doing. So those are some of my favorite notes type of, you know, application tricks and tips that you should definitely check out. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.